Our self-watering system is simple but effective. It has two parts, a planter and a water reservoir. It brings water up to the soil the same way a candle brings wax to flame. The soil stays at a constant moisture level whether you refill the reservoir daily, once every two months, or anything in between. It comes with everything you need but the plant and soil, the wick which will bring the water up, plant food and mosquito pellets to keep the bugs out of the water. The first step is to prepare the reservoir. It holds two gallons of water and we initially pour in a gallon and a half. Next, put in the plant food and mosquito pellets. Finally, stir it up and put it where you want it to be when finished. There are two ways to put your plant in the planter. Either leave it in the grower pot it came in or take it out of the grower pot and plant it directly into our planter. We will start with the easier way, leaving the plant in its grower pot. The planter has a fabric covering the holes in the bottom that is needed when planting directly in the planter. It is not needed when the plant will be planted in its grower pot, so it should be removed. Put the wick in the water and get it completely soaked. Fold the wick in half and hook the middle of the wick into the insertion tool. Pull the wick down the tool and hold both at the bottom. Select one of the holes in the bottom of the grower pot and, using the insertion tool, push the wick into the pot, getting it close to the top of the soil. Use the center hole if available, but if a side hole is used, push the wick toward the middle. When the wick is fully inserted, let go of the wick and, holding only the insertion tool, gradually remove it, leaving the wick in place. Now it's time to place the plant into the planter. Rest the pot on the side of the planter and guide the wick into the hole directly below the wick. The wick needs to hang freely in the water for it to lift water to the soil, so be sure the grower pot does not sit on the wick. The second planting option is to take the plant out of the grower pot and plant directly into the planter. Here are the steps for this. To plant directly into the planter, the fabric is left in to keep dirt from falling through the holes. Thoroughly soak the wick in water. Using the insertion tool, or any sharp object, like a pin or pencil, punch a hole in the center hole of the planter. Hook the middle of the wick on the hook of the insertion tool. Push the wick through the hole in the fabric of the planter and pull it even with the top of the planter. Using a garden soil rather than potting soil, fill the bottom two inches of the pot and pack down. Slowly pull the wicking cord up and lay it on the soil in a circle. Remove the plant from the grower pot and place in the center of the planter. Pack the soil down and add additional garden soil to bring the level of soil approximately one inch from the top of the planter. Add the remaining half gallon of water to the top of the soil to help it pack down more and ensure the plant starts with completely moist soil. You are done. You can check on it from time to time and spray with neem oil if you see bugs, but there is nothing else to do but refill the reservoir with plain water at least once every two months. But refilling more often will not change the moisture level of the soil. Revolutionary new self-watering planters for 10-inch house plants. Some plants don't like constantly moist soil, but most do, and grow well and for a long time in our planters. Here are three examples. Yefenbachia seguin. Eight months ago, it was placed in our wicking planter and never watered again. It thrived solely on rainwater, rainwater sufficient. Fiddle leaf fig. A photo was taken when it was first placed in the planter still in its original grower pot. 22 months later, it remains in the same pot serving as a Christmas tree last December. Peace Lily. Initially planted with 12 leaves and one flower, it has flourished into a plant with 22 leaves and still blooming. All these plants were purchased 18 months ago and have remained in their original grower pots. The water reservoirs of these self-watering planters were refilled two-month intervals. Half pallet with 16 planters, full pallet with 32, Revolutionary new self-watering planters for 10-inch house plants. Say goodbye to overwatering and underwatering with our innovative self-watering planter. Don't throw away your plastic grower pot. Our planter allows your plant in. Scan now and see how it works.